everybody, Robbie Straczynski here for PokerUpdate.com at the Poker, uh, what are you, what's <laughs> that? That's my first mistake though, <laughs> that's not bad. And the sad thing is, the first mistake usually leads to more mistakes. Never gonna happen, never gonna happen. Okay. Can I wager on that? I'm not allowed to gamble as a member of the media according to the Bahamas here, but a gentleman's wager. Yeah, I know. God, I want a home game so badly, you have no idea. <laughs> I can hook you up. Eight day, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, one more time. Hey, everybody, it's Robbie Straczynski here for PokerUpdate.com. We're here at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure 2016. You may probably be familiar with this gentleman. Uh, what's your name again? I'm Bob. Bob. Nice to meet you. Bob uh, Money Loser, right? Something yeah, like something like that. Chris, <laughs> Chris Moneymaker. Chris uh, Moneymaker. The yeah. man, the myth, the legend, the everything. The reason we're sitting here today, the reason everyone's gathered here into the Bahamas, really, the driver, you know, not just back in 2003 when you won the main event, but till today doing amazing work promoting the game. Thank you very much for being with us, Chris, and taking the time. I appreciate it. Can I hire you for a PR guy? Yeah, well, we'll see what poker has. Like <laughs> it's the truth. I'm just speaking the truth. Well, it's nice to meet you, first of all. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Finally. Okay. So, let's jump right into it. All right. Looking at your profile, you have obviously traveled the world. You've been playing poker. You've had a lot of success also here at the PCA. Is this like a must-play event for you, even if you weren't a sponsored player? For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this of any event, really throughout the year, this is my favorite event just because of the location, mm. and how it's run. I mean, everything about the event is so cool. Uh, I remember two years ago, mm -hmm. my manager wanted to come down. You know, he wanted to go on a stop with me. He'd never been mm -hmm. out of the country, and so I said, "Well, if there's one you got to go on. It's got to be the PCA." So he came mm. down here last year, and as we were leaving, he said. Dude, I'm coming back next year. <laughs> you know, he, you know, this guy, you know, he's, he's a one-two grinder. He plays uh -huh. the 120 sit and goes, yeah. uh, and he had a blast. I uh -huh. mean, you know, it, it was something. This stop is not only for people that play the 100K. It's, right. it's really a stop for everybody. Well, it's a festival. It's like 104 events going on right exactly. now. Exactly. Last night he was playing the flip outs, mm -hmm. and uh, the $120 flip outs just having a blast. Mm -hmm. and, so yeah, he's like a kid in a candy store, and you know I come down here, and it's all it's always really a, a good event. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, of course, everyone knows you from your landmark victory in two thousand three at the WSOP main event. Uh, it's inspiring every man. You know, of course, you probably remember. You know, thirteen years ago, back when you used to just be an accountant and not necessarily do this sort of stuff. Uh, the nightmares. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the question is. Do you think we'll ever see another everyman champion ever again? Now that the skill level has gotten so high in poker, um, you know it's, it's tough to wade through six thousand person fields. You know it's tough to wade through six thousand, but you got to think that of that six thousand, five thousand are everyman type. I mean, mm, that's true. It's not like six thousand Phil Ivies or Chris Moneymakers there. <laughs> I love how you say that. We try. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so yeah, there, there's going to be you know. You know, and what's uh, every man for you might be different from what's every man for someone watching at home. Mm. I mean, you know, you're going to know 2,000 players where someone watching at home realistically probably knows 10, mm -hmm. 20. Right. Um, so, it, I mean, it's all pretty relative, you right. know, because, um, you know, like someone like this year, like Joe winning. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, it was pretty obvious he was more of a seasoned player. Yeah. Um, very and, dominant performance. Yeah, Yeah. very, very dominant. And he came in with a big chip lead and, mm -hmm. you know, the, how the... Um, November 9 is with the coaching and stuff. It really changes the dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I liked it when it was before when, you know. Straight you, through. Yeah, just yeah. straight through. Mm -hmm. No coaching. You know, you got here, you finish it, you play it. Um, so, you know, hopefully I, I would like to see it go back to that. I understand the reason of the November 9. Mm -hmm. I get the concept of it to, right. to build the game and to build their player profiles, but mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think we're seeing that mm -hmm. in today's game. I don't think we built any of the November Niners player profiles really any right. so and there's not I mean there's no one else with that kind of a name who could possibly uh, you know be the next you know winner all the timer is the next uh, Chris Moneymaker perhaps okay that was a bad joke I can't win them all I'm sorry okay we'll <laughs> you go tried that. I you went try. for it you went for it try. okay um, many pros have diversified into other business ventures another big announcement you made recently is with the GPL uh, the Las Vegas Money Makers want to yep. talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, you know, so I was about a year and a half ago, me and Alexander Dreyfus were talking, and, you know, we both agreed that poker sort of needed something. You know, mm -hmm. poker, it's not dying, mm -hmm. but it definitely needed a boost of some sort. It needed uh, the cool factor again. You know, mm -hmm. when I won, it, 
it, poker was cool, mm -hmm. and we've sort of lost that. Um, you know, it's gone the way of esports and that maybe daily fantasy. Okay. You know, other other different ways. There's a lot of things grabbing people's attention right now. So um, we got to talking, and uh, he had this idea for this league, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know. That's a great idea. I love that concept. Now, they've tried leagues before, mm -hmm. but, you know, Alexander's the guy to go out and do it. He's got the money behind it. He's got, you know, the it ideas. Is, sure. He's got the ideas behind it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, when he started talking about it, I was on board immediately, and mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, this is something I want to be involved in, and, mm -hmm. you know, I, let me know how I can help, and... Cool. So, yeah. Well, I have to ask, why Las Vegas moneymakers and not Nashville moneymakers? Uh, you know, it's... Global Poker League is a worldwide league. Okay. It's not just an American league. So ah. people over in Europe and whatnot, you know, probably couldn't find Nashville on a map. So <laughs> everybody knows we're lost. It's in Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> No, so everybody knows where Las Vegas is, uh -huh. and you know I won the World Series in Vegas, so it's not like it's a far stretch. Okay, um, so it fits. And most uh, people probably think you live there anyway. Most people do, actually. Right. Quite a few do. So. <laughs> okay, uh, you you look thirty, but you've recently turned forty. Okay, um, this is the best guy I've ever done an interview with. By the way, <laughs> you're really an intelligent guy. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to snob. I, I, I call it like I see it, as they say. <laughs> But I've got, I've got or, as many gray hairs as you, by the way. There you go, and I'm 34. <laughs> for real, though. Oh, wow. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. Also father of three. Um, That's why the gray hairs. Okay. Exactly, and the best life in the world. So, Second. you've recently turned 40 years old, and you're now eligible for the Poker Hall of Fame. Okay? So, do you think you should be in there? That's a tough question. Of course. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's it? I'm done, just... They told, me, they told me immediately training once I answer my question to stop. <laughs> okay. No, honestly, I mean, it's not something I really think about. Um, you know, it would be cool to be in, obviously, more, okay. more so for my kids than anything else. I mean, uh, you know. It is. It's, that's what matters at the end of the day. It, it, it I've is. got kids. I know what it's like. Yeah, yeah it's like, you know, my, my bracelet, I, I want to give that to my son. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it's just a cool legacy for them. For them. And, uh, you know, for me, I mean, I get to travel the world, like you say. I get to play a game I love, mm -hmm. and I represent a great company. I'm just, I got a great life. So, you know, if I get Poker Hall of Fame, that's just a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. And uh, if not, I'm still 40 and kicking. So. There you go. I hit it. Okay, let's talk about online poker. You are in Nashville. You're obviously a, a U.S. resident. Uh, how often can you actually play online poker? You know, I guess when you're traveling, like how often, how many days a year, or how many months a year? You know? I can play online poker any day I want as long as I get on a flight. Ah, no, but okay. to be real, uh, you know, I come down here to the PCA, I mm -hmm. go and play EPTs, LAPTs, um, and then also have an apartment up in Canada as well. Oh, cool. So, uh, grind for, station. Yeah, grind station. Yeah. So uh, I've got a buddy that lives up there. He's a Canadian prison. He basically rented out a spare bedroom to me. So, okay. uh, nice. you know, so I can go up and play Scoop and W Coop and uh, T Coop or whatever other Coop mm -hmm. they come up to invent with. So, right. uh, and uh, actually, I'm in the process of. Uh, probably moving to Columbus, Ohio. Oh, and, okay. Uh, so now I'll be three hours from Canada. I can get up to Canada in three hours. Nice. Um, I'll be able to get to New Jersey faster if you know we get that state up and rolling, which okay. is probably down the list here. Yes, it's actually then, the next question. Yeah, Will you? Well, <laughs> this is called a segue, people. This is a segue. Yeah. That's how you do it, Jimmy <laughs> the Fish. Anyway, um, yeah, Poker Stars was awarded a license, okay, to operate in New Jersey. Do you see yourself doing some sort of maybe promotional, or along with the company, of course, um, like a tour, like the California tour that you did recently, and you know, starting to poker stars there soon? Yeah, I think it'll be something similar. You know, it'll be a little bit different because you know they don't have the card rooms there mm -hmm. in uh, New Jersey like they do in California. But uh, I definitely see some kind of um, rollout. I mean, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be very big news when Poker Stars does enter the state, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll definitely want to capitalize on that. And mm -hmm. I imagine that um, I, I expect to spend some time in New Jersey sometime this year. Bundle up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving to Columbus. It's not okay. that much colder there. <laughs> okay. Many poker players have goals that they hope to achieve. Are you working towards any particular goals for yourself? Not really. Um, just I'm chilling. Just chilling, down, living life. Okay. Uh, you know, honestly, if I had to, if I had any goal that I was sort of quote unquote working towards right now, mm -hmm. I put on about forty pounds this past year, which really sucks, by the way. So I'm gonna try and lose that. I okay, mean, that's a know, great goal. And as far as like poker goals go, I mean, I try not to set monetary goals. I try not to set um, goals that I I cannot control. Mm -hmm. So my goal it's always been 
well, not always, but like the last five years, mm -hmm. is whenever I sit down to play, mm -hmm. I always try to make sure I'm ready, mm -hmm. and I always try to make sure I make the right decision. If mm -hmm. I can walk away from a poker table saying, I played well, I made the best decision I know how, mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. You know, obviously, you never like to lose, I get upset, right. but I know if I played my best, then. I mean, that sounds like a goal that well, I'm sure all of our uh, viewers can take for themselves. That's a good lesson, you know, for, for anybody. You know, I, I, I'll be doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, see, you know, some people, you know, they want to say, I'm going to win this tournament or win this right. much money. You just want to do your best. You can't control that. Yeah, I, I mean, that. you know, you're setting yourself up for failure. You know, if you reach your goal, great. But yeah. you know, it's things you can't control. You can't control the river. You can't control so many variants and variables right. in this game. All you can control is your decision making process. And okay. You know, making sure that you're getting enough. Like, you know, oh, yeah. last night I went to bed at 11 o'clock, made sure I got a good 10 hours of sleep. I want to make sure, you know, I'm not, I don't go out and <laughs> drink the night before. I don't right. go out and do anything that, you know, I make sure when I'm here to play, I'm, I'm focused on playing. Cool. I hear you. Okay, so all, all this play talk, all this poker, we're in the Bahamas. What do you do for fun when you're not playing? I do media. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun then. Yeah. That's wonderful. No, uh, honestly, you know, my kids today, this morning, I was, I was talking to them this morning. Like, Dad, are you going down all those slides? It's not fair. It's so much fun. They're, they have a cheer camp, so they can't uh -huh. come. So uh, they're all upset that I'm down here doing all these slides. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I gave the news to them that I haven't stepped outside yet. Okay. So they're pretty happy about that. But okay. um, if I were to not continue playing the main event. Right. Um, I will have some free time and I will I'm playing in the basque the three on three basketball tournament oh, down cool. here. Yeah. Jason Mercy. Jason Mercy is nice. putting on uh, and Poker Stars are doing uh, we have a new thing here at Poker Stars called Stars Fun. Yeah. And it's a new promotion that we're starting up. Okay. And it's you know we have a blackjack tournament. We mm -hmm. have a, a tailgate party tomorrow that I'll be hosting and uh, we have the three on three basketball. So um, you know there's a lot of activities going on here off the t off the felt. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, if I'm not playing in the, the tournament anymore, mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll play some side events. But mm -hmm. also, there's so many slides. There's dolphin adventures. There's stars fun. So I'll, I'll be busy. Much better to swim with the dolphins than the sharks. That's for sure. Yeah, there's always someone down here that swims with the sharks. Though there's always a bet that some <laughs> and someone gets drunk enough to actually do it. It happens every year. We're gonna go off script. Uh oh. And we would like you to choose a random question and read it to our audience here at PokerUpdate.com. Wow, wow, wow. Why do you waste so much? No. no. <laughs> it's All pretty right. decent question. Ran let's random see. question. Yes, I know what it is. <laughs> Did you put all I the may have written the questions. It's they're, possible. They're all the same question. <laughs> what is the one must-have condiment you need on any sandwich? So, well, this is the problem. There, there's two sides of sandwiches. You okay. have your, your, your meat, your burger, yeah. and then you have your chicken. Okay. And both require different condiments. So there's no one condiment that is a must-have. If I had to, like, the perfect condiment was like a honey mustard mayonnaise. Okay. That that probably would fill the void in each. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ask Daniel, it's probably going to be whatever fits on a vegan thing. But right. We don't we don't really know oh, anything about tofu that. spread on the tofu burger. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with, like, either a mayonnaise variant or something like that. Because that's, you know, I could put that on a burger and, and a chicken and maybe whatever the hell vegan is. Um, <laughs> and it would be tasty. But we do love Daniel, too. No, no, Daniel's so great. He's it's just, great. He just eats weird stuff. There you go. And you heard it first here at <laughs> PokerUpdate.com. Again, this is Chris Moneymaker. Thank you again so much for spending some time with us. I'm sure everyone's going to love this video. And, uh, yeah, good luck at the Thanks, PCA. Robin. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Enjoy your time down here. I know uh, it's your first time, so <laughs> down here and uh, you He's been like a kid in Christmas, just talking to him. He's got a he's had a permagrant on from the last two hours. So I know he's having a good time. You're very sweet. Thank you.